Welcome to a SparkyJohn.com video on PVC conduit. PVC conduit comes in 10 foot lengths. They are generally manufactured with a built in coupling. This larger size is on this end is referred to as a belled end. B E L L E D. And it acts as a coupling. You put glue on this end and insert it into the conduit and it sets itself up within about 10 or 15 seconds. PVC conduit uses a one part solvent cement and it comes in two general flavors. This happens to be clear. They also make it in a gray. Unfortunately, the gray is a very dark gray and shows up as dribbles when the excess glue is forced out of the coupling. There are many different ways that you can cut PVC. You can use a saw like a hacksaw, miter saw, or this particular type of ratcheting cutter. There make, there's many types made with this you have compound leverage and it slices through the pipe. The end of the pipe as you can see is rather square and it helps to ream the outer edge and the inner edge. This happens to be a deburring tool. This does the inner radius. This does the outer. The tool costs about twenty dollars. Or you can use a pocket knife to achieve the same type of thing. It makes it easier for the pipe to fit into the coupling when you glue it. The coupling is only one of the fittings that you can use with PVC conduit. There is also a male adapter. And with the male adapter, with a lock nut, you can use PVC conduit to go into metal boxes. That one would work on the interior or on an exterior application. You could use this to thread into the hub of the metal box and glue the PVC conduit to it. There are also female adapters. With the female adapter you can couple this onto a pipe and switch to another wiring method. Rigid metal conduit, thin wall conduit, flexible conduit, liquid tight conduit, or perhaps other applications. They also make a reducing bushing. So if you wanted to use half inch conduit in a three quarter inch fitting, you can put glue here and then glue the half inch conduit into that fitting. This is a PVC box adapter and it is used in conjunction with the coupling. In this particular case this box has two built-in hubs but if I wanted to come off the side I would drill a hole this size, put glue on this, stick it through the hole, and then put glue on here and then this becomes a sort of hub where you can come off of the box from the side or the back or wherever you needed to approach it from. This is a cap. This particular cap is PVC and this PVC cap is used with rough installations 
usually outdoors, where there's a time lag between the installation of the conduit and the, inst the final installation of the wiring. By gluing caps on, people cannot contaminate the pipe with dirt, sticks, stones, concrete, sand, or other foreign materials. There are several different ways that you can bend conduit or make turns in conduit. You can buy pre-made 45s, you can buy pre-made 90 degrees, or in my case, I tend to prefer to heat the pipe and make larger sweeping bends. It's easier to pull wires through, especially long runs. There are a couple of different ways that are productive in heating conduit, especially the smaller sizes like half and three quarter. A heat gun works well. I do not use torches or open flames. You tend to char the pipe. One other way to bend conduit is with something that they refer to as a hot box. And in this hot box, there is a heating element that runs the entire length. But when you do this, you have to have a pipe that's long enough to go the entire length, and you have to keep rotating it. And it only takes a couple of minutes until it's soft enough that it flips around like a noodle. You can bend it in any shape that you'd like. You can also get the pipe to assume that final shape faster by rubbing it with a wet rag that is saturated with water, especially cold water. You can allow it to air dry more slowly, but it can take you know, 10 or 15 minutes for it to harden and fully set in that final shape. There are a couple of different ways that you can secure PVC conduit to a wall or a structure. One way is with a strap. <clears throat> and this particular strap says rigid on it. It might say HW for heavy wall or IP for iron pipe. They all mean the same thing. They are all interchangeable. It's interchangeable with half inch galvanized water pipe, half inch gas pipe, half inch rigid conduit, half inch intermediate metal conduit. They're all interchangeable. This happens to be called a click strap. And when you look at the side, it's open. In this particular case, I have a stainless steel screw and if you, this is used in a wet location or a corrosive location, you should not have rust. But this strap operates a little bit differently than most. In most cases, you would try to pinch it together. That doesn't work. In this one, you force it down into the strap and it clicks. It can also be easily released with a screwdriver. And it's back open again. This concludes our brief coverage of half inch PVC conduit. Feel free to visit sparkyjohn.com. Thank you.